Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back. Let's play Super Mario 64 on the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch. Last time we went through Jolly Roger Bay, where I missed the final coins for the 100 coin challenge by not very many. And I think I somehow just missed these because they didn't spawn in when I, or I could see them, and therefore I just kind of didn't see them. So I just had to find them now. They're a bit of a pain in that. Pain in the butt, but I got it eventually. If I can get the uh, damn thing to work. There you go. Perfect. Yes, we are saved. Yay. And we are currently on through the jet stream, which we cannot do, so let's get out of here. And let's go ahead and look up into the light here for another secret star slash other good stuff. Welcome to the wing course. Step on the red switch at the top of the tower in the center of the rainbow ring. When you trigger the switch, all the red blocks you find will become solid. Try out the wing cap and do the triple jump to take off and press ZL to land. Pull back on the L stick to go up and tilt forward and nose down just as you would when flying an airplane. So this is going to be a rather irritating level that I have not got on my other file because i got to get all these damn red coins and I'm not great at it. So fly around. Uh, try to do this at the start of the stage and not later, because if you do it later, it's a pain in the butt. At least in my opinion. To get all these coins. Come on. Oh, oh, if I get this on the first try, I'll be beautiful. Oh, come on. One more. One more. It's my best attempt. Just like ever. Ah! Okay, our goal is to get those red coins. I cannot do this on on the Joy-Cons, but we will try to do it with the regular controller here. So, yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay, blah, blah, blah. I already know about all that, but I want to go for the coins here, because this is what I need. This is going to be one of the more irritating ones for me, personally, to get, just because they, they could have given the coins like a slightly larger hitbox here, but they did not, and I'm not terribly fond of that. Three. Ah, I think I missed them. Um, not a big fan of the flying here. Especially since once you actually come down here and have to use the switch cap here to get your get your hat back so you can fly. We set on the wing cap switch. Wearing the wing cap you can soar through the sky. Now wing caps will pop out of all the red blocks you find. Would you like to save? Yes I would, because I don't want to do that again. So there we go. So now, these red blocks have become solid. You can go ahead and start jump, jump, triple jump into glory. But the problem, especially in this level, is in order to get any altitude, you have to kind of do the little dive thing here. And it seems like, in my opinion, you lose more altitude than you gain. So good luck with that. So I'm going to try this a few times here. And eventually, I will try to get those final two those final coins here and that'd be perfect so that means I don't have to do it anymore and I don't ever have to come back to this. Okay, there's two. Yeah if you come out of like a cannon or something it's perfect but if you're just trying to gain altitude from a regular jump it's significantly more of a pain in my opinion. So just good luck here. Okay five six. I need one more here. Don't even bother with any like Oh, come on, I need one more. Don't bother with any, uh... Oh, come on, I'm right there. Ah, I'm gonna die. I finally got all the red coins and I'm gonna die because my cap's gonna run out. Son of a bitch. Yeah, don't bother trying to collect any other coins because there's not enough for 100. Oh, I was so close in here so far. In game, I want to look up that way. I wonder if there's a way to change the inverted stuff from the game, but I'm not sure if there is. You know, let me check. Controls. Uh... No, it's not. No. Oh. Okay, there's two. Yeah, I could not do this to save my life on the Joy-Cons. They're just two not great. <sighs> Come on. I'm not terribly great either, but... I'm gonna try again. Considering I missed three out of four attempts there, I think I just kind of failed miserably. Come here, you. 
and the uh, the red cap mission that we have to do in Mabon Battlefield, since that's going to be available now, is also not my particular favorite because again, it involves flying and flying. I liked flying in Super Mario World. I really did with the the cape. Here, not so much. Uh, where is the? Uh... I think I'm not going to be able to get him because I'm too low to the ground and my wings are about to run out anyways. Yeah, I give up. Try again. Luckily, you don't lose any lives from falling down here. So that's nice. It's just uh, having to redo it. And luckily, it is right there. So that's also real nice. Just Maybe some people have a real easy time with this. And if you do, good for you. Because I sure don't. Crap, where am I? I tried going a different direction. I don't think it worked. Yeah, I'm just going to go to the left like I was going, because going to the right just kind of did not work out for me. I'm going to try this a few times. Eventually, I will get it. I might say screw it and do it off screen at some point, but uh, this is this is basically where I left off in my other file. Uh, is not getting these two. So I'm at 23 stars in my other file. And that one, I do have the, the red cap from Babon Battlefield. Come on, stop missing all but one. Yeah, with that one, I did get the red cap from Babon Battlefield, but I still haven't got this one. So if I manage to get this one, I will be doing better on this one than I did over there. That's for sure. And then we'll be caught up on stars until I, you know, get to the Babon Battlefield one. Okay, there's a two. And there might be an easier way to do this, but again, I'm not terribly sure of what it is, because it doesn't work for me, that's for sure. Ah, so close to you so far. Well, if I get those two, that'd be great. And there's not a way to, like, corner or turn better, as far as I'm aware. And yeah, we are losing altitude as we... As we go. So yeah, it's just not going to work out great. If there was a cannon in that level, that would make it so much easier. But there's no cannon in that level, and that makes it significantly more painful than it needs to be, in my opinion. Come on. Then again, it is a secret level, so maybe they don't have any reason to have turn Copa bombs in there. Okay, so close. Yeah. Nope. Ah. Mario, you're flying like a, re a lunatic here. Okay, five and six. I'm going to see if I can potentially get the altitude to get the final two, but I don't think I do. Where are they? They are right there. Oh, so close. Yeah, so far. And if you go too far down, you will just exit the level, so you want to watch out for that as well. Yeah, I can't get enough altitude for uh, once I just have to do the jump right there. If the tower was a little higher in the, a little higher than the red coins, great. But because it's lower, yeah, you just can't do it. Okay, there's one and two. Awesome. With the the cape from. Mario World, I felt like you could definitely get more altitude from it rather easily, whereas this one, it's definitely a struggle. And sometimes you just manage to speed up, and it doesn't work out great. I think some of the red coins might actually be slightly lower than some of the other ones, but I don't think these ones right here are low enough for me to to work with here. Okay, let me try this. We need to go right about here, right? Yeah. So let's try. Oh, come on. I am. I am an inch away. Do not lose up to. Come on. I am so close. Oh, I can taste it. 
I'm going to try that strategy again since it almost worked. It just didn't work out quite as well as I had hoped. We go right about uh, here. So, I'm so close and yet so far. I give up. If I don't get him on the first swing, I'm just not going to get the damn things. I'll try twice more on camera, and if I can't get it, I'll try for a few minutes off screen, and if I do get it, great, and if I don't, well, I'll get it eventually. At some point, if I don't get it, you'll just see me with an extra star, and I'll say, okay, I got it at some point. Oh, so close to me so far. Come here. Okay, I need just those two. Come here. Yeah, you guys are definitely higher up. <sighs> I'm not going to get that one. I started losing altitude and I couldn't get him. Oh, I was so close, too. Okay, let's just turn around here. Okay, th yeah, these are definitely lower right here. So let me see if I can ignore those and go for the two hires right here. Where they? There we go. Okay, got those. Okay, good. And yeah, you're also higher. Yeah, I can't get them though. Curses. They're also very easy to lose track of, in my opinion. Right, I'm gonna try once more here, and then I'm gonna really try off screen and then go from there. Okay, two. Got him. Three, four. Five and six. Come here. I'm so close. Where are they at? Where are they? Oh, they what happened? Where'd they go? Okay, I'm right. Okay, I see where I am. I flew off the frickin' edge of the map. That doesn't count. There's no invisible border that I can just say, hey, I'm not freaking flying off the edge. No, I just have to hope for the best. Oh, come on, I got five. The freaking clouds are directly in the way that I can't see where I'm going here. Seriously? That does not count, because I hit that, and that did not count for a freaking coin. So, last time, for sure. And then Eskimo, one more try, Poodle, tries off screen. Because this, I can't really direct you guys on how to do it. It's just, if you're good at flying, hey, great, you can get it. If you're not great at flying, like me, then that sounds like a, a you problem. At the moment... It's definitely a me problem. Come here. Ah, I got it. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, okay. Now, now be very careful. You don't ground pound off the edge or do anything stupid like that, because uh, you'd have to redo it again, and that would suck. That would really, really, really suck. Ah. Yeah, buddy. All right. Back to the bomb battlefield. And, you know, if we just headbutt into the wall, that works. Mario wings to the sky. Why this is not the last one, since, you know, it's the last one you can obtain, I don't know, but whatever. Anyways, let's go ahead and kill the Goomba that dares to attack me. How dareth thee? And let's grab ourselves a, a cap here. And let's go into a cannon, because that'll give us the same effect as pretty much the start of the red world, or the red switch level that you can just fly awesomely. Let's see, my goal is to, if I can find it, yeah, get up there. Yeah, I want to get over here. 
So our goal here is going to be to fly through these uh, rings and grab those uh, coins. Uh, because of the way flying works, I'm not great at it, so my primary goal is just going to involve coming back to the cannon and getting it from there eventually. Especially since they are spaced out to be... spaced out to be uh, different heights. Okay. Oh, I might actually get some uh, close to first try. Okay, uh, hopefully that counts as not losing my cap too soon here. If it does, that's great. If not... Okay, I need to figure out where that fourth one is. That didn't count. I thought that was the fourth one. That's why I went for it like that. Now I gotta figure out where the island is. There it is. If you can get if you can get Mario to get his hat when mid jump, he will not take the time, you know, straighten it out on his head, and you'll save time there. So just oh, there it is, right there. Okay, good. And that will be very useful for you, just in saving like a half second or whatever. Oh, come on, I'm so close to getting that. Except for the part where I'm not. Again, flying. Not my favorite Mario activity here. And do not press the Z button, any of them, because you will just ground pound to death pretty much. Yes, got it. Okay, cool. Yeah, if you press the Z button, that happens. And depending on how high up you are, you'll take a fair chunk of damage. Perfect. We got ourselves the star, and I am officially a star ahead in this file than the file that I started playing previously. Yay! Awesome. Okay, cool. So, world one, two, and three, all done. And let's go to the next world, which is a nice, fun little world, and it's got a nice aesthetic to it. And you can do some cool stuff in there. Some cruel, cool stuff, but it is pretty cool. Because it's a nice world, get it? It's cool. Hey, <laughs> Now, there, there, there's some stuff in here that I do like. Uh, assuming I can change the camera, that'd be great. There's a toad around here, right? No, I thought there was a toad. Might be down here. No, I think I was just thinking of the sign. Stop and press ZL to crouch and press B to do a high, backward somersault. To perform a side somersault, run, do a sharp U-turn and jump. You can catch lots of air with both jumps. Let's jump right through the middle. Where we got snowman, yay. Slip sliding away. Snow Mountain Summit. Watch for slippery conditions. Please enter the cottage first. Okay, cool. Oh, there's a little penguin up there. Now this is what I was talking about how you can do some cool stuff here. Some slightly cool, slightly cruel stuff. Go to Mr. Penguin here. And you can pick him up. Yay! Now, if you want to be a, a bastard. Oh, it's not letting me. You're supposed to be able to throw the penguin. Oh. Yeah, a lot of people just throw the penguin off the cliff. Now, there's a reason why they do, but uh, apparently he just respawns, so good for him. Welcome to the snow slide. Hop on to speed up, split, tilt forward on the L stick to slow down, pull back. Okay, so this is basically the secret slide from uh, earlier, but you know, with uh, a level attached to it. Oh, you can also jump down onto the slide below since this is a much longer slide, but I fucked up right there, so. I was not trying to do that. That was uh, karma for throwing the penguin off the cliff. I can accept that. 
Tego. I don't remember this one being too much of a pain with the 100 coin challenge. Mainly because you get a fair amount of coins here on the slide. But who knows. Let me see if I can jump down here. Yes, we can. Perfect. And there we go. We start sliding down. And if the camera ever turns around, we can be pretty good here. Or we can just fall off the edge. Cheaters never prosper. Remember that. Actually, I'm not sure if falling off the edge of that actually has any real merit to it. Like, yeah, it's there, but uh, I don't know if it's necessary for anything. And yes, I get it. I'm on the world, so go away. I think when you're sliding down on your belly, you have slightly less control than, you know, uh, not sliding down on your belly. So that probably contributed to my loss there. But I see where those coins are pointing. If you want to, there's a secret passage there. And I think it just has a couple coins and a little bit of a shortcut to the to the end. It's not necessary. And there we go. Nice, easy slide, which gives us a fair chunk of coins, which is really nice. Yeah, it's gave us 60 coins right there. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, where are you saying up? Oh, there's that. Uh, I don't know what that's about, actually. I don't remember that at all. I literally don't remember that. Take it down. Huh. I don't remember that. Uh, let's try this. Let's try... Oh, there we go. Okay, just long jump and then hope that the wall jump makes it for you. And don't fall off the edge. Oh, that's a one-up. I wonder if that was always there and I just never knew about it. Because that is very strange. I never saw that before. That's where this. That's where the other side of the slide comes out. So if you want to try that out, that's pretty neat. And there's our star right there. I'm going to go ahead and go through that slide again on the next time we come in, simply for the fact that it gives us 60-something coins, and it's just fantastic. Here we go. Actually, I'm not sure if the secret part of the slide it gives anywhere near as much as the, the main part. So we'll go through it twice, once on the regular and once on the, once on the secret side. Because that'll be a real easy way to get my 60 coins there, or 100 coins. Start with you. By the way, try not to get the last of your coins on the slide there, because otherwise you'll have to go through the slide to get them. Unless you time it so you can get the uh, the coins as you are leaving the slide, like at the very bottom. Hey, Mario, buddy, how's it going? Step right up. You look like a fast sledding kind of guy. I know speed when I see it. Yes, sir. I'm the world champion sledder, you know? What do you say? Have it a race. Sure. Uh, this guy's actually a star, but I guess we're just going to do him early, so why not? And he's big. He's in charge, and he's in the way. And I was not trying to go for that. Okay, I almost made that. That would have been the ultimate shortcut right there, but uh, that's not what I was going for. So for the moment, I'm just going to go ahead and head back to the first star and try that. Try it that way again. We're just going to putz around a little bit since we kind of took way too long on flying lessons. There we go, got some coins there. Ignore the little baby penguin, he's just there for looks, because he's cute. And this way, we don't have to worry about the other penguin being in the way, but... Yeah, we're going to come back to this slide at least once more for the star, but whatever. And I missed some stuff there. Okay, that's fine. You can hold back to go slower, and that's probably not a bad idea. Oh, that just gives you a coin, or not a coin, a one-up. Which is not great. Okay, stop that. Go straight. Stop with the, the weird slidey stuff. 
Okay, yeah, maybe I did know this was up there, because that's apparently a real easy way to get up there. And let's see if we can get back up to the top and go for the rest of the slide, because that'd be great. Okay, let's see here. There's that. And this little penguin right there, we'll ignore her for the moment. I'm not trying to get all the red coins, but they are here, so I might as well grab some of them while we're here. Not like that. Fuck it, we're racing the penguin, because why not? It's part of our grand plan to get coins. Little penguin lost, you can wait. I'm not terribly worried about you. You're in your element, you're in the, uh... You're in the harsh arctic land where you, survive, where you belong and you survive. So you're fine. You're, you're having a good day. And also you're having fun by not, you know, being near your mom. Now with this penguin right here, assuming I can, you know, there we go. You can kind of slide into it, not like I did, and get like a little bit of a head start. But I'm not terribly worried about it, since really this is not that tough of a race. He does get kind of fast towards the end. But frankly, I'm not really worried about it. I'm more worried about the coins that I'm missing. He does kind of try to, you know, push you off. He's a pushy little bastard. But he's no match for Mario's big booty. Okay, we didn't get quite as many coins as I would like, but, you know, I'll take it. You know, he has to walk to a very specific spot to admit that he lost. You broke my record. Unbelievable. I knew that you were the coolest. Now you've proven that you're also the fastest. I can't award you a gold medal, but here, take this star instead. You've earned it. I think I have to get this. Fuck it. Okay, just grab it and get it out of the way. Either way, we'll come back to the slide for more stuff, uh, coiny stuff later. But anyways, we'll worry about that stuff next episode. So guys... Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Have a good one. Camera, stop auto, uh, stop auto rotating, please. It sucks. I hate it.